Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground virtual tour. Whether you want to watch it on the Insta360 with the Oculus, or you can use your cell phone to look all around, or you just want to watch it the old school style on the GoPro Hero 11. We're going to visit Stephen F. Austin State Park, San Felipe, Texas. So let's gear up and get on the go. Stephen F. Austin State Park is one of three Texas state parks that features a golf course. And as you can see, the beautiful green fairways over there. Stephen F. Austin State Park commemorates Stephen F. Austin's first colony and the town, San Felipe de Austin. First town formed by the Texicans who migrated here under charter from the Mexican government. So they had to immigrate to Mexico, give up their American citizenship, and convert to Catholicism in order to receive land grants from Mexico. San Felipe de Austin was the first town. It was actually one of the largest towns in the state of Texas up until the time of, or actually it was one of the largest town, um, Caucasian American immigrant towns prior to the America or the Texas Revolution and at which time it was burned it was burned in the runaway scrape all right we're going to visit the day use and tent camping loop first and foremost you see there's the nature center and they are geared up for a halloween spooky adventure for the kiddos the little kids are going to be able to come out and trick or treat i think I know they got all kinds of spooky stuff set up to scare you. Now, if you're coming here in an RV and you're early, they don't have a day use parking lot sufficient in size to accommodate an RV. This, these are all the day use area parking spaces. We got here early, and she kind of said, you're lucky because, she didn't kind of, she did say, you're lucky your sign is open, otherwise we have no place for you to park. This is the Bullinger Creek camping area. It is primitive camping. water it's very peaceful here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. There's not a whole lot of road news. But if you've been following the channel you know uh, I'm not a big fan of road news. Toilets and shower facilities 
if you are tent camping back into the day use area well I'll pick up the speed a little bit because there's not much to really see here Austin State Park has a really great trail network. I don't know how many miles, but they've got a lot of hiking bike trails. On my previous visit, I spent most of one day running the scooter up and down all these trails. I don't have, oh, there's a couple of deer. They were hanging out right there when we came in. Spike book. So as you've seen, there's there's lots of wildlife in this little campground in this little state park. I guess it's not a little state park, but it's pretty big. I'm not sure what size it is, but it's pretty big. They've had a tree trimming crew in here working since we got here. The tree next to our campsite they were cutting up has a beehive, bee nest, a bee colony living in it. The beehive is the box you put on it bees that are living that's the colony so we're gonna go to the right we're actually gonna make a full circle here in the screen shelter loop and then we will make another full loop in the tent camping area but they are connected and I'll clarify that in a moment now here in the shelter loop there is one air conditioned cabin. It is number 20. Although here at the end of October you really wouldn't need a screen shelter, I mean an air conditioner in the cabin. A screen shelter wouldn't be sufficient. It's a bit chilly right now. Our high is supposed to be like 68, 69 today. It's just warm enough to run around in shorts and sandals. Okay, that goes over to the tent camping loop. But there's more shelters to view. squeaky break. It's not a cricket following me around. Because if it was a cricket following me around, I'd, I'd already smashed it because it's driving me crazy. Okay, that's all of the shelter loop. Now we're going to go check out the, I guess you would call it semi-primitive or semi-developed
this is the restroom for both the, the tent area and the shelter area. So we got to run down here to that intersection so you can see all of the primitive sites here. trailhead up here that's kind of the dividing line right here that is the nature trail all right now we'll go check out the, the tempting loop much every site in this state park is flat. So getting level is not going to be a big challenge no matter what kind of RV you are traveling in. Vehicles are prohibited on the grass. So these are pretty much I think all water only sites. because it's a bi-directional road meaning both roads so instead of going around we'll go back to the front entrance this road that we're on will loop around on the, to the back side of the RV loop
we are just we just had to be camped right at the bottom of the U because it's a U-shaped blizzard. So uh, I won't be able to finish up. Well, I guess I can't finish up there. Odd number on this side, even number on this side. There is no 50 amp. It's all 30 amp, but you do have sewage. So if you're coming during the summer, make sure you put soft start units on your AC, and you can run both AC on a 30. Unless, of course, that 30 amp breaker has been abused by somebody that's trying to run two air conditioners without soft start on the 30. That's bad on the breaker. several sites we've been to, like several campgrounds we've been to, they were short on campground hosts. There's the magnificent Trudy Thunder. And the tree shredding truck. a dump station which is kind of <laughs> if all your RV sites have a are full connection why do you need a dump station I guess if you're camped out here in a van and you want to dump your tanks <laughs> Gesundheit. I like number 36. Of course, there's not really a bad sight in here. Now look, on our previous visit, we were right here where this reflection is. I really like that sight. back so you can see it from the other direction the fire I mean the easy <laughs> what am I trying to say campground host right here a little trailer that, that's firewood so the only other place i found to buy firewood is out by the freeway and that dude was he's proud of his wood so it worked out to be about a dollar a stick which is what they have here but his sticks were quite a bit smaller
water solar on top of it. I like site number seven. It has a good shot of the north sky for starlight, which has been a bit of a challenge here. As far as Starlink goes, site number one is probably going to be your best bet. And still you're going to have trees. All right. We're done. We are done. Is my hair frazzled? Yes, it is. But that's all right. And I don't have a cover, so I cannot give you proper respect. Anyway, if you found some value, please click on that thumbs up. That sure helps with the YouTube algorithm. And it surprises me to learn that 95% of y'all that are watching these videos are not subscribed. So please click on that subscribe button down there. That really helps. Gotta let the little gator go by. Making noise. Not an electric one. I need a muffler. I need to put a new muffler on there. We'll edit that out of the hero. There we go. All right. Well, 95% of y'all are not subscribed. It would really help if, it would, if you would click on that subscribe button. But for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why, that's why I'm back here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. We really appreciate your generosity. I cannot properly recognize you, but thank you so much. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear? Just in time.